All right, uh, for the next few, we're going to simplify the following radical expressions. Number seven, four rad three plus rad three. All right, so we can add these two rads because they have the same number inside the square root house. Um, so four rad three plus one more rad three is just going to give us five rad three. Number eight, we have the square root of 200 or rad 200. Um, to simplify it, what we're going to do is we're going to do our factor tree. 200 can be found by multiplying 2 times 100. Remember, we want to keep growing our factor tree out until all of the endings or all of the leaves are prime numbers. When we get a prime number, we circle it so that we can remember it. We're going to use it in the end. All right. So the first one was 2 times 100. Uh, 2 is prime, so we're going to circle it, but we're going to keep growing with 100. We get 2 times 50. 2 is prime, so I'm going to circle it. I need to keep growing with 50, so 2 times 25. So 2 is prime, so circle it. Finally, I'm left with 5 times 5. 5 is prime, so I'm going to circle it. So all the numbers I circled, I'm going to put back into the house. So I have 1, 2, 3, 2s. And I have 1, 2, 5s. All right, so you're going to ask yourself, how many pairs can I make? I can make a pair of twos, and I can make a pair of fives. So on the outside, I'm going to bring a two, and I'm going to bring a five, and I'm going to multiply those two numbers. So five times two is ten. The only number I couldn't make another pair with was this lone two. So on the inside, I'm left with rad two. So our final answer is ten rad two. Number nine. We have rad 48. So again, we're going to factor tree it out. 48 can be found by multiplying 6 times 8. Both of those numbers are composite, so I'm going to keep on growing. 2 times 3. Both 2 and 3 are prime, so I'm going to circle it. Keep growing with 8, and I get 2 times 4. 2 is prime, so I'm going to circle it, but I need to keep growing with 4. 2 times 2. Prime. So I'm going to put these numbers back into the house. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, three, four, and just one three. Okay, so I can make two pairs of twos. So I'm gonna pull out a two and a two, and I'm gonna multiply that. Two times two is four, so I'm left with four rad three. All right, number 10. We have two rad five times rad 30. We can only multiply the rads, so rad five times rad 30 is gonna give me rad 150, so I'm left with 2 rad 150, but 150 needs to be simplified or reduced, so I'm going to factor tree it out. 150 can be found by multiplying 15 times 10, 3 times 5, 2 times 5. Okay, so I'm going to put these numbers that I circled back into the house. I have 2, 3, 5, and 5. I can only make one pair of 5, so I'm going to bring one 5 out of the house. And I left, I'm left with these two um, right here. So 2 times 3 is 6. So I have 5 rad 6. Now I can't forget about this 2 right here. Because remember, all we did was turn rad 150 into 5 rad 6. So I still have to bring this 2 back and multiply 2 times 5 rad 6, which is going to give me 10 rad 6. Number 11, we have rad 180, so we're going to factor tree it out. 180 is equal to 2 times 90, 3 times 30, 3 times 10, and 2 times 5. So I have 1, 2 twos, I have 2 threes, and I have 1 five. All right, so I have to make one pair of twos, one pair of threes. So I'm going to bring a two and a three of the house, and I'm going to multiply those two. So three times two is six rad five. Six rad five. All right, number 12, last one. We have 10 rad two over rad five. Now, we don't like rads in our denominator. So we're going to multiply both the numerator and denominator by rad 5. And I get rad 25 as my denominator and 10 rad 60 as my, my numerator. 
Now the square root of 25 is 5. So I have 10 rad 60. I can reduce this even further by dividing 5 into 10. 5 goes into 10 2 times. So I have 2 rad 60. But the 60 is not in its simplest form, so I need to factor tree it out. So I have 60 is equal to 2 times 30. 3 times 15. I'm sorry, not 3 times 15. 2 times 15. 3 times 5. All right. So I have 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. That's one pair of 2's right there. So I'm going to bring one 2 out. And I get 2 rad 15. Again, I just changed rad 60 into 2 rad 15. I still got to multiply this times rad by 2. Okay, so that's going to give me 4 rad 15. Again, try not to forget about this too. I know it might be easy to forget about it by um, factor treating 60 out and getting 2 rad 15. But you always have to bring it back in the end and multiply it times whatever you got for rad 60. All right, hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in class.